This lesson describes the use of the hand and zoom tools and demonstrates a few common scenarios for use in this set of tools. So here I have demoproject.fla opened up and the hand and zoom tools can really be used on any project. It doesn't matter because we're simply going to be zooming in and out or moving around the stage. We're not actually manipulating any specific objects at this time. So I'm going to choose the zoom tool here first. And using the zoom tool, I can go down here and choose whether it acts as a reduction tool or an enlargement tool. So if I choose enlargement and I drag a selection, it's going to zoom in to that exact selection. I can also simply click at a specific point and it will center my zoom to that point and jump in a bit. So we can see up here above the stage, we're actually in at 2000% right now. If I choose to reduce, we can see that clicking will take us back out of there. When you create a zoom selection rectangle using the reduction tool, note that it still behaves like the enlargement tool does. That's because it doesn't make any sense to be able to reduce from a selection. You can also use the Alt key on your keyboard to switch between both of these modes. So right now we're in zoom mode and if I click, we zoom in. If I hold down the Alt key, we're in reduction mode and I can zoom out. So that's the zoom tool. Then we have the hand tool. And the hand tool has a very specific purpose, and that's to simply pan around our stage. So if I go in at like 800% here, you can see that, you know, if I'm trying to work on this, I don't have anything usable right here in this particular view. So in that case, I can use the hand tool to click and drag, and no selections will take place, but I can actually drag around my stage to reveal different portions and focus on those portions. Something else to note is that if I have another tool selected, say I've got the selection tool and I'm working on this piece of text here, if I want to quickly jump temporarily to the hand tool so I can move the stage around, all I have to do is hold down the spacebar. And when the spacebar key is held down, I'm able to use the hand tool once I lift my finger from the spacebar, the previously selected tool automatically appears again for me to make other selections. Just like that. So this has been an overview of both the hand and zoom tools within Flash Professional CS6.